Hi, this is Teresa Floret, aka Tweet Tweets Art. That's T W E E T, T W E E T S A R T. That's me. Okay, I have a word for you from the, from the Bible, the Holy Bible, King James. Okay, here we go. Bless. Oh, it's Psalms. 41. The reason why I hit the the Bible like that is because I bumped my foot into this beautiful um, island. Excuse the mess on the table because I'm organizing. Sometimes you got to organize and you got to put things on the, the, the island. You know, got to put stuff, got to put it down, do what you do and then put it away. Sometimes you just got to do it like that. So, it is what it is. Yeah, but not all the time. Here we go. Blessed. Oh, Psalms 41, verse 1, until I stop. Okay, here we go. Um, blessed. I'm going to the other room. Well, actually, I need to turn this, this air conditioner on. It is so hot in here. Oh, my gosh. It's hot outside. Okay, here we go. If I sit over here in this chair, I'm really going to have to squint, squint my eyes to read what I'm reading. But uh, sometimes you just need to sit down. Okay. Bear with me. Oh, I do have some uh, sparkly. Uh, I can't even see it hardly now. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm sweat. Okay, the air conditioner's on now. Okay, here we go. Now you can see me better in the dark. In the dark corner. It's not the dark. It's a well-lit room. It's just I'm in the corner. Here we go. The blessed is he that considers the poor. That's verse one. I say it. Blessed is he that considers the poor. And after that, it says, the Lord will deliver him in times of trouble. Okay. Who are we talking about there? Who's going to be delivered? Well, certainly the person who is the poor if you're helping that person, he's been delivered. And I mean, delivered from that situation at a time. As, as much as you, as you can deliver. As much as, as much as, it's not you. It's God, it's God using you. But, yeah, that person needed some help. He got help. He got a little deliverance right there, but a whole deliverance, it's a different story. Now, who is the person who gets help in times of trouble? The person who is helping the poor. I'll read it again. Let's read that. Blessed is he that, a noise out there. Blessed is he that considereth the poor Consider the poor. Don't even say help. This is consider. I think considering is helping. I think so. Okay. Okay, hold on. The Lord, the Lord will deliver him. Who? The one that considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in times of trouble. Okay. I think that's what it, let's read the next verse. That's verse one. Let's see what verse two says, just in case. Maybe it might explain something further. Lord, Holy Spirit, give us revelation as we are listening to this word. I'm going to read it one more time. And after that, I'm going to read the second verse. Okay. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in times of trouble. <coughs> Okay, 
I say they both get blasted. I think they're both being delivered somehow, some way. Okay, but I don't know. You gotta ask when you're in your prayer time. I say, Lord, what does that mean? Who's being delivered? Okay. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. Okay, so in that case, uh, I would think we're talking about the poor themselves, you know. Okay, that was verse two. Go back and read it. When you read it, ask the Lord for revelation or get yourself a concordance Bible. Or King James is my favorite. That's what I was reading. And uh, it gives me, to me, I like it. I, just, I, I would like this since I was younger. But at the same time, when I was younger, we didn't really read the Bible. I kind of peeked in once in a while. I cer certainly did. I peeked in. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's verse 1 and verse 2. Now, we'll probably get a little deeper. If you go to verse 3, that's your homework. That's your homework. You go to verse 3. And read it all the way to the verse five. Verse five, okay? Go read it and see what happens. See, see, ask the Lord, you know, okay, I'm in another room. Uh, what does that mean, Lord? And um, yeah. Show me what that means, Heavenly Father. And also, um, uh, you know, give me revelation from it. What does it mean? Yeah. And he will. Let me make you understand. Make you understand a lot. Okay, so that means pray. P R A Y. Just in case you didn't know. Now you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like so much of this. Now I got the glitter on to that. I tried to glitter it last summer and it was like, oh goodness, it exploded all over. To me, I maybe I'm not wearing it right. Probably so. Uh, when you when I see you again on another video, I have to fix this one up. I don't, mm, I don't know if I did it right. Maybe I should have put this this part on that open on the bottom half and put something on top. We'll see. Okay, I got a little purple down there, <laughs> a little blue on the eyebrows. <laughs> oh goodness, Lord help me. Thank you uh, that you made me an artist, Heavenly Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. Um, uh, it's just funny. Okay. So, yeah, that's the word. Psalm 41, verse 1 and 2. And if you want to go even further for on your studies, go all the way to 3. And if you really want to get down, read that whole chapter. It's very short. Okay. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. And remember, Jesus loves you. And he never fails. But everybody else may fail. And Jesus, Jesus, my friend, my Lord, my Savior, never fails. God bless you. Bye-bye.